Step 2. Joining and cutting the rack to size. The door must be in the fully closed position. Take the two racks and join them together as shown. Put one of the end caps onto the rack, which is at the end where the door opens. Hold the rack to the full width of the door. And move the pencil three teeth back and mark here. Now cut the rack to size, ready for installation. Attach the other end cap to the rack. Before attaching the rack, the drive system must be installed. Step 3. Installing the drive system. Remove the cover of the drive system. Line up the drive system so that the cog wheel overlaps the non-leading edge of the door by 75 millimeters or 3 inches. Before securing, make sure the drive unit is at least 25 millimeters from the door. Now mark and secure fixings into the door jam. Step 4. Attaching the rack. Align the rack to the cog wheel. Mark the first hole in the rack and secure with self-drilling fixings. Slide door to the middle join in the rack. Ensure rack is engaged to the cog wheel and again mark and secure with self-drilling fixings. Slide door to the fully open position and repeat the process. Now test the door so that the rack engages smoothly with the cog wheel as the door opens and closes. Step 5. Connecting power and calibrating. The power adapter can now be connected according to the angle required. Join the extension cable to the adapter, male and female, together. Plug the lead into the recessed end cover of the drive unit. Now plug into power outlet. Turn the red power switch on in the drive unit. Once on, the door will slowly close. If the door opens rather than closes when you turn the power on, turn dip switch 1 to the opposite position. Once the door is fully closed, turn dip switch 1 off, then on again. This will cause the door to start self-calibrating and the lights will flash on the control panel. Once the lights have stopped flashing, the door has finished calibrating. Step 6. Syncing remotes to work with your door. Press the Learn button on the panel. The red light will come on. Press the Remote button and the Learn button will flash three times. Now press the remote button again and the red light turns off having successfully synced with that remote. Repeat with any other wireless push button remotes or other accessories. To erase all existing remotes, hold the learn button for 5 seconds. The red light will flash on and off and all remotes will be unsynced from your auto slide. For any other adjustments of the dip switch setting, refer to page 26 of the instruction booklet.